148, 100,049, there's two there, 50, 100,051, 100,052, 100,053, 100,054, 100,055, 100,056. There's one missing. I'm sure there was one more. Oh well. One, two, three, four. Ah, I've been looking forward to this all day. Nice cup of tea. Hey, get that sherbet put back on that top shelf. And be quick about it. It's very valuable, that. Be careful. It's only sherbet. Correction, Barry. Super chuckle sherbet. It's very powerful. Watch. What are you doing? You put sherbet in my tea. It's ruined now. No, not to worry. I'll take it out of your wages. Parcel for a Mr Chuckle. That's me. Nice present. It is, isn't it? Who's the lucky person? Me. Isn't it about time you shut up? What? The shop. After all, it is seven o'clock on a Christmas Eve. We're not going to get any more customers now, are we? Uh, I suppose you're right. Don't forget to be up bright and early in the morning. Oh, good. So I can open my presents? No, so you can open up the shop. So much for Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, Santa. Christmas. Ooh, what good did Christmas ever do? For anybody. past. I don't believe in Christmas. But others do. And you did. No, I never did. What are you doing? You're going on a journey to your Christmas past. Christmas past. Isn't Christmas brilliant? Yeah, you crackers. I know. <laughs> I win. Ooh. How do I look? <laughs> Christmas, Paul. Ah! <laughs> ah! Paul, Paul, are you all right? Barry, is that you? Of course it is. Oh, thank goodness. I've got some wonderful news. I've seen the light. Well, you can't miss it. It's over there on the wall. No, 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 no. About Christmas. It is a time for fun and merriment. And most importantly, a time for sharing. Why the sudden change? I've been back to the mansion where we grew up. 
We never grew up in a mansion. I've been visited by a ghost. I don't believe you. He said I've got to be kinder to you. I believe you. Let's celebrate. We'll start by preparing a Christmas dinner. Great. I'll go and buy the biggest turkey I can find. Yeah. I'll start making the pudding. Hey, Barry, this is going to be a Christmas to remember. It is already. <laughs> This will show how generous I am. <laughs> That's done. Oh, steady! Could have had my eye out then. Sorry. See, so you've got the tree then. Well, almost. Hey, I've got a turkey as well. <laughs> now we're ready for a feast. Well, maybe I like snack. <laughs> Never mind. You start decorating the tree. No, oh, I'll go and get some more wood for the stove. Don't you want me to do that? No, Barry. I'll do all the hard work from now on. Peace and goodwill to all men. Yes? I wonder, sir, if you might spare a little Christmas sustenance for an unfortunate gentleman down on his luck. I know. I won't be a minute. There you go. Merry Christmas. Thank you, sir. And a Merry Christmas to you. Right, dinner. Great. The turkey's almost ready. And the pud's all done. Oh, yes, I meant to tell you about that. Someone just came to the door. Yes. They said they were hungry and wanted something to eat. Go on. So I gave them the pudding. You what? I thought we'd help someone worse off than us. Well, they're certainly not now. All our life savings were in that pudding. What? I put it in as a surprise. Right, that's it. Christmas over. But the ghost said... Ah, it was a dream. I don't believe in ghosts, I don't believe in Christmas, and I certainly don't believe in you. But peace and goodwill. You can take your goodwill and leave me in peace. ghost of Christmas present. No, no, you're a dream. Can a dream do this? <laughs> I've learned my lesson, I promise. Prove it. Be good to your brother Barry. I will. I'll cook dinner and we'll have lots of fun and merriment. <laughs> Great. Pardon? Uh, I mean, better go and make the preparations then. I'll just go and tell him. He'll be thrilled. Do that. Uh, hang on. Um, you'd better clean the sweets up first. You're right. And do you know what the ghost did next? I've no idea. He tipped a jar full of lollipops all over me. They weren't lollipops. They were rhubarb and apple bonbons. How do you know that? Have a gobstopper. Oh, thank you. Stupid thing. Now, get them lot picked up. <sighs> Why don't you come and have a nice relax, Paul? Hmm? Come over here and sit down in the chair. Huh? Now, you just relax. I'll go and get a dustpan and brush. <laughs> that Barry. <sighs> ah, what do you want? I am the ghost of um, cleaning things up. This Christmas you must be good to Barry. Of course. Give it to me, I'll do it. I'll be watching you. Oh. Find the dustpan. Don't worry about it, I've sorted it myself. Hey, Paul, there was a big present in the shed. Uh, yes, uh, just a little gift for myself for Christmas. I got you a card. <laughs> Thanks very much. Did you get me anything? No. Nothing at all? No. Whoa. Uh, not you again. 
No, I'm a different one this time. I am the ghost of, um, giving Barry a proper present. Who, what can I give him? Perhaps this'll give you a clue. The bike's mine. Whoa! All right, all right, but leave me alone. Happy Christmas, Barry. For me? What can it be? I'll give you a clue. He's got his own seat and a chain. You haven't. I have. You haven't. I have. My very own lavatory. Yeah. No. It's a bike. It's a present for both of us. It's a shame it's snowing out. I know. You clear the snow from the alley and we're going to do circuits round the shop. You clear it yourself. You come and relax and put your feet up. I'll clear the snow. Oh, well, if you're sure. Yes. Hey, hang on a minute. What? I know your game. What? You want to clear the snow so you can have first go on the bike. Ah, you've caught me. <laughs> I'm not stupid, you know. No. Great bike, Paul. Shame the ghosts and I had to have it all day. Yes. Never mind, eh? Wait. Dinner's almost ready. Great, I'm starving. How about an appetizer? I know the very thing. Chuckle super sherbet. That's funny. I'll give him ghost. This is one Christmas I'm really going to get what I deserve. Whoa! Ah! I am the ghost of Christmas future. I don't believe you. And it's going to be a bleak future. Ah! I'll teach you to ruin dinner. It was an accident. Giving away my life savings. That was an accident too. How about pretend to be all those ghosts? Just a bit of fun. Oh! It's no good hiding. Ah! What's this? Me money. I thought you put it in the pudding. I did. No, you didn't. This must be what you put in the pudding. Chocolate coins. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Barry. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and so Mr Paul and Mr Barry had learned the lesson of Christmas. They continued to live and work in peace and goodwill and extended kindness and consideration to their customers and those less fortunate than themselves. And within six months, they were bankrupt. Happy birthday, Barry. What about Christmas? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you're right. Somebody's pinched the cash register. I thought we'd help someone worse off than us. Well, they're certainly not now. That pudding contained our life savings. <laughs> not funny. Why well, that smile off your face? <laughs> <laughs>